Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with us play Enslaved Odyssey to the West on the PC. Last time, we uh, crash land or we discovered that we crash landed in uh, some apocalyptic kind of, I'm guessing, uh, North America, United States type area. Pretty close to New York City, since, well, the Statue of Liberty is nearby and all the buildings are huge. That's my guess, at least. And then we went ahead and started journey home for trip over there and I made some dumb choices getting experience and next time I'll probably just wait till the enemies are dead to go after all that experience but oh well and we managed to get this door open over here so we can get through it let's go ahead um, hopefully she doesn't try to get too dancy here You know, the name Monkey is actually pretty fitting since he's, well, pretty agile like a monkey. He's, uh, a lot of his movements are kind of monkey-like. And he's got the little tail thing going on there. Look at this tree. It must be hundreds of years old. And those are some fat mosquitoes there. Hopefully they're not hungry for me. That'd be great. Alright, uh... Where'd she go? Okay, that way. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything when she oh, wouldn't yeah. let me do anything. Hello. Okay, I got all this experience and I can't do anything with it. Any point you want to let me use this stuff would be fantastic. Hello. You know, I'm assuming he means landmines, so try not to get yourself blown up since we are kind of connected. See dragonflies? I need you to catch one. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not commanding you. I'm asking you. The branches are pretty high. All right, so we gotta go grab ourselves. If you lift me up, maybe I could drop it down for you. I don't know why we need the dragonfly for, but okay. And that seems like a jump he could have made. So, you want me to catch one of these dragonflies? It might be difficult. They frighten easily, and they're quick. Well, feel free to explain your reasoning to me here. That'd be great. Put it on your display. I like how they actually give an explanation for us having the heads up display here. It's just, it's, it's right over there. It's just. Uh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, I know, I can see it. I'm not blind. Come here, you little turd. You know, usually if you're. Stay still. Usually, if a dragonfly or bug or something like that doesn't really want to be caught, there's a pretty good chance that it's not going to get caught. Because, well, they could fly, for one thing. And they don't got to worry about falling ledges, either. Come here, you little turd. Well, I'll grab these dragonflies. You know, I'm not gonna hurt you. you. 
Well, he might hurt you. I, I don't have any plans for it. Uh, it's probably going to get worse by time... Oh, not yet. I am really enjoying the uh, platforming and just general exploration of the game so far. It's nice. I like it. Alright, now where'd that little... No, not you. I want to zoom in on the dragon. There he is. Yeah, the game does look pretty nice despite a few graphical glitches. Got it. That's great. Bring it back down here. Be any mechs that suddenly appear now that I got the dragonfly, huh? They're gonna play. Hey, you caught a dragonfly. It's illegal. So slave number whatever. You're gonna die now. I think it was like something nine nine four or something like that. Something with two nines and a four. I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was something like that. Um. Oh, there is my... No, it's not going to let me do that. Well, one of these should let me down. Let's see, can I do anything over here? How did I get... Where is my... Down, there you go. Oh, there we go. For some reason it didn't seem to let me on the, the rocks earlier. I think we've got most of the... Uh, experience or whatever so far and it's not gonna let me fall down this high is he dead oh he's a camera I used to play with dragonflies all the time as a kid no I used to squash it they evolved some simple sensors to help them sniff out energy sources Pretty basic, but for our purposes, we'll do the trick. a live relay to your headband. It has a camera setting and a sensor setting. Try it out. Follow me. So, the dragonfly somehow evolved technology, like video cameras in their eyes. Or did somebody implant them into their eyes? Because that seems a bit more likely, like someone biologically engineered these things to be that way. Because, as far as I can tell, you don't just, unless you're a mutant, you don't just develop freaking electronic uh, wireless signals and shit like that. But that's just my opinion on the matter. I'm probably wrong. You should be able to see the mines on your headband display. And the experience points. What do you think? It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I wonder if uh, Mr. Dragonfly is going to stay with us. I Do I got to I got to carry you, damn it. But I wonder if the Dragonfly is just going to hang out with us for a while. Like, the rest of the game. That'd be cool. I'm almost tempted to see just how exploding the mines actually are, but eh, it's probably a good idea to not do that. Oh, good, he can climb with her on his back. Or, he... Yeah, there you go. A lot of other games are just say, Hey, put her down, you can't do anything with her. You're not maneuverable enough, but... Ah, Monkey seems to be pretty... Adept at, uh... Multitasking here. Yeah, got you. It's not gonna let me roll with her on my back, unfortunately. And he also seems to be slowed down just a little bit. Um, okay, this shouldn't blow us up. Aha, there we go. 
I figured there was going to be something cool over here if they're that close together. Odd place for a loading thingy, but okay. Oh, I guess he was going slow because of the mines. That makes sense. That was easy. Yeah, lots and lots of experience. Wait a minute, something's not right here. Maybe you should do another scan. We got a problem. There are mines everywhere. Let's head for that building. Yeah, that's a whole lot of mines there. Like, way too many. Alright, I'm assuming we have a checkpoint. So I want to see just how dangerous these are. And I don't think it'll let me. Okay, pretty dangerous. <laughs> They're a one-hit kill. Yeah, try this again. I thought they would, like, deplete the shield or something, not just straight-up kill me. I wonder if it actually keeps, like, a uh, death counter uh, for, like, towards the end of the game. Like, hey, here's your statistics. You dumbass died 40 times, or you magnificently managed to die one time. Something like that. Yeah, I keep forgetting I gotta press the A button to get up there. Oh well. Let's try not to blow ourselves or the formerly classic cars up. You wanna get up there? No? There you go. She's on my back there, dude. Throw me up to that ledge. I'll look for a way through. Alright. Um my experience points. Alright, we gotta get over there first. Do I gotta throw her from here? Because that's kind of a toss there. Um, yeah, probably not a good idea to go through this. Alright, let's see here. I guess I'll try to throw her from here, but I'm not sure how well it's going to work. Oh, the cars, duh. Stay back. Yeah, it's. There's you. Yeah, I know where it's at, dude. Hang on. You're not going to let me? It's not going to let me until I toss her away. Okay. Ah, so, right there. Up there. I can get across up here. Well, good for you. Okay. okay. I'll find another way. Now that we're not overburdened here. But I'm pretty sure he's made bigger jumps than that. Or at least he seemed like he did over in the spaceship. Watch out! Oh, great. That didn't work. I wonder if I can get these guys, like, pushed into the mines. Uh, I want to get a look around here. Yeah, some more experience. Yeah, if I can get up there, that'd be. He doesn't seem to like climbing the smaller. There's a bunch of experience over there. I might just have to accept the fact that I'm probably not going to get all of it. 
Let's see, that's where we... Oh, that's hey, probably... Some help here. The heck? What happened there? That was odd. I can get across up here. Okay, good for okay. you, but why did I die? Yeah, I'll find another way. It didn't say you were in danger, did it? You said he needed help, but that was it. Are you okay? I'm fine. I have no idea why I died there. Maybe I triggered a mine, I just didn't realize it. Didn't seem like it though. Let's get back up to over here. I can't get across. Can you help me? Yeah. Wait a minute. Alright, let's not get dead again here, because that just didn't work out. I mean, they kind of seem to react to me being around them, but I'm not supposed to explode unless I actually, you know, get next to them, I don't think. Yeah, there's all the experience over there. Oh, well. Uh, where exactly am I throwing you? Okay, I see where we are, but where do you want to go? Oh, uh, over here? Okay. There you go. You need to get some fitness or something. Close to the mines of doom, there. There's a sentry turret over there. We won't be able to get past. I'm gonna scan. I'm detecting a structural weakness. If you could get close, you might be able to knock that down and crush it. I'll try, but this is not exactly my idea of fun here. We got sentries and we got landmines. Not really great here. I could use my decoy to distract it. All right, distract it. Come on, dodge bullets. All right, doing good. Okay, fully charged. Okay, you're over there, and he is not seeing me at the moment. Okay, that's good. I need another scan. Looks like that guy's taking a nap right there. Yeah, we could sneak past him or we could kill him, you know. Either, whatever works. Yeah, that, okay. Not sure how I was supposed to sneak past there, but okay. Where'd he go? Oh, there. Got him. Luckily, that didn't seem to wake his buddies up, so that's... Yeah, I'm not sure what the sneak button in the game is, since it's not too terribly obvious at the moment. But I'm super proud he's got to get past the little, uh, 
light there, but that's easier said than done. Fuck, I'd rather get the experience. Three on one might be a little tough though. Bad time to look at my block there. Oh well. Got him. Not too bad, not too bad. Could have done a little better there, but oh well. Uh, health pack, I'll save that for a little later, in case we come back here. Um, I don't know if that I think I either missed experience, or it was just like some weird... Something or other. There's experience over there, though. Yeah, it worked out pretty well. Let's see. Oh, there's another health pack right there. Okay. Um, yeah, might as well not take it yet. Oh shoot. Uh. Yeah, go for the decoy. Yeah, we can't seem to. We can't seem to get her to do the uh, EMP, but we can get her to do the decoy pretty nice. Hey, come back! I can't get past until you've cleared the way for me. Yeah, I gotta clear the way for you. Hang on, lady. Like this. Okay, made it. Plasma cells. Now we're in business. I hope this thing still works. Ah, cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. There we go. Nice little plasma rifle. Or something. Nice. Nice to see we got a range attack. Oh sure, you can just run past all the mines. I'm coming, chick. Hang on. I'm going. Hang on. I guess the EMP is mainly if she gets uh, stuck in a sticky situation here. Okay, we can kind of blow them up with the mines. It's not too terribly accurate, but it works. Yeah, the plasma can seems to work pretty good. Gotta get a little used to it, but... Actually, that thing's kind of useful since it gives you the information and stuff. Okay, now I'm going to go back for that health kit. 
if I can. Uh, I can go back for it, right? Um, yes, no, maybe. I might have screwed myself here. I gotta be able to get back to that thing, right? Or not. Okay. Oh, well. Alright, let's see here. Now, I want to try something here. I don't know if this will work, but can I detonate the mines, like, with my staff here? I cannot. Oh, they rearm themselves. That's not good. That's not good. Now, let's move this out of the way for her. Change names. My name is Tripitaka, but I often get called Trip. Oh, there we go. Pretty much always, people call me Trip. How about you? I don't have a name. You must. Everyone has a name. Not everyone. Well, what did your parents call you? They were killed in a mech attack when I was a kid. I grew up in the wilds. How long? <laughs> Well, what do other people call you then? Monkey. In the communities I trade with, some of them call me Monkey. If you want to give me a name, you can use that. Okay. Monkey. Well, she kind of already called you Monkey at some point. So maybe that little cutscene should have happened just a little sooner, but oh well. In here since I missed the one outside like a dumbass. Now right, let's get up here. Bye. There we go. You can make that jump, right? I don't need to carry you over, hope. I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here. In the next episode, we will continue on past this little hole in the wall here and see what awaits us. So, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Have, have a good night.